Um, out of Acts 10, 34 and 35, there's a verse to remember. And it goes right along with everything that we've been talking about for the last couple of days, especially about how we are not special in our own selves, but how God is towards us. I see you looking up to... <laughs> but I'll just read that verse for us to remember. God does not show favoritism, but accepts men from every nation who fear him and do what is right. Say this with me. God does not show favoritism. God does not show favoritism, show favoritism but accepts men from every, every nation who fear him and do what is right. God does not show favoritism, but accepts men Men from every nation, from every nation who fear him, fear him. and do, and do, 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 do what, what is, is right. right. Okay, can anybody tell me what, what, what we just said? Kennedy, you always first. <laughs> What did we just say, uh, Kaden? <laughs> Do what? He does love all of us. That's something to think about. He does love all of us, which is why he can't show favoritism. He can't allow you to do what you want to do and show you the same respect or favor that he shows somebody else that is doing it. Right? Right? Right. Right, Abraham? Yes, sir. Okay. So, do you, do you understand that that's why a lot of times we have to stay on you about what you're doing sometimes when you're distracted? Is that that, that giant that we've been fighting is distraction? No. Somebody said that to me this morning? No. Kennedy said it to, to me this morning. Yeah. It's that giant, isn't it? Yeah. Are you looking at the giant right now? Yes. So what should no. we be doing? Ignore him. Okay, all right. How can you destroy him? You shoot him. With what? A shotgun bazooka. What's the shotgun bazooka? No. No. What's the shotgun or bazooka? Can I answer? God. God is the shotgun bazooka. Uh, yes, but no. Because you got to do this. Oh. So what's the shotgun and bazooka? It's part of our memory verse Ooh. that God accepts. Sydney. Well, to uh, watch the giant, ignore him. I know it's God. <laughs> With God's help. God does not play favoritisms, but he accepts those who and do the right thing. So, how do you squash that giant? Because the giant is making you do the wrong thing by distracting you, by staying in your face, by always messing with you, by always causing you to do something. Whatever it is that you do, 
that's not right. When you should be paying attention, obeying your leader, staying focused. We talked about that the other day, too. We have to be focused. And we have to give diligence to staying, staying, focus. 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 So why aren't you doing it? Sturdy. It took this long to get your attention. Mm -hmm. I just had to say And they were trying to help you, but you were busy being full of yourself. <laughs> this is not a chide. It's just letting you know just how much we're influenced by that giant, and we don't even know. I, I know. I right, Lauren? Right? She knows. <laughs> so, in order to defeat that giant, what must we do? <laughs> and show him our God is more powerful. How do you show him God your God is more powerful? Do the right thing. Does God accept that? Yes. yes. Why? Because he loves us. Because he accepts people who fear him and who do the right thing. Are you doing the right thing right now? Some are. Some are. Some are. Come up here. Come up here right now. Just come up here. Too late. You tried to fix yourself. Go sit down. So you cannot try to fix yourself. You can't make yourself right before God. You got to do what God is saying. And when he calls you out, a lot of times it's because he's caught you. And he wants to fix you. See? Look. I'm going to call it out. Look. Look! What is that? Now, why, would you, why would you do that? Sit down. Sit down, Abraham. Oh, okay. I don't know why he does it. Okay. Is this place of worship? Yes. 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 Are you worshiping by doing exactly what you want to do? No. Who is this about? God. God. And who are we supposed to be learning about? God. Who are we supposed to be respecting? God. God. Can you, can you respect God by doing exactly no. what you want? No. And ignoring what's going on in no. front of you? No. No. Now, I'm not trying to call anybody out per se, but we do need to see what the examples are. And I did that for a purpose, because I mentioned to him that I was going to do something. And I had to follow through with it, because you have to do what you say you're going to do. But it's not to make anybody look bad, because we all have that. We all have aspects of that, so we get off course. It's a distraction. That's all it is. Like, like doing what's right. We need to do what's right. How do you do what's right? How do you know what's right? Kennedy. You pray to Jesus and ask God. Yeah, but how do you know? If, if God was to tell you what's right, how did, how did you know he's telling you? Do you know his voice? How do you know his voice? I can't answer that question. I think you can if you think. Wait, what's the question? I think you can if you think. But I understand. How do you know what God has to say? Faith. Huh? Listening to who, though? Mm -hmm. We have something that tells us what God has to say. <coughs> what is it? Isn't it? The Bible. I thought you knew. Bible I thought you knew. So. so how do you know what God has to say? When you read it, right? And then that teaches you to learn how he thinks, what he's got to say. What's right and what's wrong. Things that we should, should be doing and things that we should not be doing to be distracted or to be calling other people's attention because we should be obeying our leaders, paying attention, staying focused. What does peace stand for in the power? Uh, oh. Participation. Oh. Obey.
Worship. I didn't say W. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll, I'll leave that. I don't know. Is it P O? I was like, oh, we're doing power. So I'm like, oh. <laughs> we the B. Hmm. What? Anybody else know what O means? Yes. Obey. Obey. Not for the soul, but the P in power. I know. Obey. It's obey. Obey, obey the uh, Lord. Grace? Obedience. Obey. W means. Mario. E. Zach. Encouragement. And. Excellent. That's that, part of it. Uh, Faith. You. Yeah. Empower. Equipment and encouragement. Okay. How do you equip? What do you do? <laughs> Kennedy, you got it all there. Kennedy. Help somebody, or you can give it to them. Bless your heart. What is R? <laughs> 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 I can't think of your name. Lori. I knew somebody was going to do that. R E S P E C T. So, 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 when you put them all together, what do you have? Power. When you don't put them all together, what don't you have? Power. power. So in order to have power, what you gotta do? You have to respect R E S P E C T. I'm sorry. Start all over again. I didn't hear you. Participate, obey, worship, equip, uh, encourage, and R E S P E C T. Found it what it means. Yeah, yeah, Show. A little respect. How do you do that? How do you show respect? For anybody. Not like that, Grace. That's not how you show respect. How do you show respect? Um, I can't think of you. Yeah, sorry. To, to pay attention. Whoever's talking up front from to you. Oh, please, that's so awesome. You're so awesome. Okay, now, as far as each other is concerned, remember what our thing was, uh, I wasn't here yesterday, the other day. Two days ago. Love. Love one. Love one. Love one. Love thy neighbor as who? Thyself. Okay, now. You ought to think about that whenever you do whatever you do towards somebody else. That's why I keep trying to get you to pay attention and stay focused because that distraction monster will knock you out and he'll cause you to murder somebody else because you can't be proven that you love somebody else or even love yourself if you keep doing this to somebody else and staying in their face and distracting them. You can't prove that. You need to prove that you are loving yourself by being obedient to what God said. Love your neighbor like you love you. As so when you treat somebody bad and get on their nerve, you show me you don't love yourself. When you don't participate and you don't join in with what's going on and you making it look bad for everybody else, you're showing me you don't love you. As much as you think you do, you're showing me you don't. You gave me your word the other day that we were going to start acting like we love one another. We got two days left, this day and tomorrow. Okay? Let us determine that we are going to love each other like we love ourselves. Because God will not play favoritism. He looks on every man the same. <laughs> I know we're running out of time. Does, does, does he look at the different colors? No. 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 Yes. 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 I remember yes. yesterday. Yes. 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 yes, yes, he does. Yes. I remember that. Because he cares. Because he wants everyone to be unique and different. Who said that? Me. Record okay, on. that's one thing I want you to remember. We look at things as if we say, God doesn't look at color. Yes, he did, because he made you. Why would he do it if he didn't? Because he wants everyone to be unique. You have significance. You have differences. But he needs for you to understand that each different color and culture is still a person. The same. With a different expression. But it's the same thing. And you're all important. Just as important as each other. And each one of you are expressions of who he is. Each one of you are a viable, important expression of who God is. So you're not to be taken as if you don't matter. Even you. 
And I said it because you all, you, right now you're looking like I don't feel like I matter. But you do. Remember what CJ told you? How important you really are? Yes. And that's why the devil is after you to try to keep you from realizing what you have that nobody else has. Remember? Yes. yes. Remember that. Come on, guys. Let's, let's pray. I didn't get to do what I wanted to do, but I need, we need to pray. Here. I need you to take this because I've got to get on my knees. I'm getting down on my knees. You don't have to get up at my feet. Just, just, let's pray. What did you say? I think I might. It's okay, find your space. And Abraham, get off your face. Just get on your knees. Don't take up the whole space with your whole body. Jacob, get up that bench. Abraham, get on your knees, not on your, on your stomach. Okay. Hi. Right. Are you expecting God that way? Yes. See, I'm, I'm, I'm really going to tell you something. God's going to call you in one, moment, one of these times. You're going to be him hawing around until the door will shut and you won't have a chance to get right and do right. You won't. And he's going to tell you it's too late because you did not see fit to obey what I called you. We need to be diligent to obey when we're told. Because one day, it might happen to one of us. You don't know what the next second's going to hold. You don't know. So what if a bomb came down and bombed this building, and everybody's down, and those that are down didn't get hit, but the one standing up did, even if it were me? I wouldn't have a chance to get it right, would I? It's too late. So I'm saying, obey. Not the steps. That doesn't belong to you. All right. Let's, let's respect God the Father. Yeah, let's just do that. Because he's here in your heart. He's looking at you. He's looking at you wanting to be obedient. He's weighing the thoughts and intents of your heart right now. So you can't play. You can't do anything. You can't sneak away. You can't go anywhere. He doesn't see you or know what your intentions are and your, your abilities and your mindset. He knows. And he's going to give you the, the rewards of what it is you are planting and sowing. Please. Respect God. <coughs> Father, we give you thanks for being merciful to us when we were not considerate of you. We give you thanks for giving us another air, breath of air, another heartbeat, another second, another chance, when at any time it could be cut off because we dwell in disobedience. But your mercy and your grace is just more wonderful than anything we could ever understand or fathom. So we give you thanks. We give you thanks for the time that you've given us to be before us, that we might learn and partake of you, to learn of your word, to hear from you, to receive from you, to respect you, to bask in your presence as we do right now. So Abba, as we finish this, I'm not going to close this prayer. I'm going to call us to get up and walk on with you in our hearts as we do, as we should. And help us to carry you from this place to the next place. Because we will not leave your presence. We thank you, Abba. Thank you. Yes. Rise. Rise. Directed by Devin Spann. Starring Colin.